Hello, my dear students, grade 3, our lesson today is lesson 93. The last lesson, we give the equivalent fraction to half. We call the half a benchmark fraction. Benchmark fraction helps us to think about the size of the other fractions. This lesson, we are going to find the equivalent fractions to another benchmark fraction that is fourth. We can write fourth as one over four. We know that one whole equals how many fourths? Four fourths. Four over four. Okay. So if we have one whole and one two divided it into four equals part it. We at the first divided it into two equal parts. Then divided each part into four equal each part into half. So we get four equal parts. Each part is called four. If we, will, if we have another one whole and won't get the equivalent fraction two fourths. At the first, we divide one whole into two halves, then each half into halves. Okay. If we divide each part into two equal parts, now how many parts we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Each part is called eight. Each part is called eight. So How many eighths is equal to fourth? Yes, one fourth equal to eight. Another equivalent fraction. Draw one whole and divide it into Sorry, two halves, then divide each half into halves, and divide each part into two equal parts. Then divided each part into two equal parts as we can. Okay, now we have how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Each Part is called one over sixteen. One over sixteen. Here we have four. This part is four. So four equals how many six? How many? Sixteen. Yes. Count. One, two, three, four. So one over four equals four over sixteen. And so on. 
we know that force equals 2 over 8 or 4 over 16. From the previous lesson, we get that half equals 2 forces or 3 sixes or 4 eighths and 5 tenths and so on. We note that numerator is half denominator. If we look at this fraction, 1 become 2 and 4 become 8. What we do to make 1 become 2? We may add 1 or times 2. Here, 2 make 4 become 8. We add 4 or we times 2. 4 times 2. From the previous lessons, we know that 1 plus 1 equals, this is repeated addition. We can, we can write it into multiplication equation as 1 times 2. 4 plus 4 is a repeated addition. We can write it as 4 times 2. So, here we multiply 1 by 2, and here we multiply 4 by 2. So, we get 2 over 8. Okay. One over four equals four over sixteen. We know that one become four and four become sixteen. What time is one equals four? Yes, one time is four. Okay. Four times what equals sixteen? Yes, four times four equals 16. Okay. Here, half equals 2 over 4. So, what times 1 equals 2? Yes, times 2. What times 2 equals 4? Yes, times 2. Another example. Half equals Three times six. Three times six. What time is three equal? Sorry, three. Three over six. What time is one times what equals three? Yes, one times three. What time is two times what equals six? Yes, two times three. From this example, we know that. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, by the same number. Here, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, times 2. And here, we multiply numerator and denominator by the same number, 3. So, to get the equivalent fraction, two in a fraction, two in a fraction, we multiply the denominator and numerator by the same number. For example, if we want to get the equivalent fraction, 
टू टू ओवर थ्री इक्वल्स वट यस वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय टू टू टाइम्स टू एंड मल्टीप्लाई द डिनोमिनेटर बाय द सेम नंबर टाइम्स टू We multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Two times two equals what? Yes, equals four. Three times two equals what? Equals six. Another fraction, another equivalent fraction, two, two over three. If we time the denominator and numerator. Well, three, for example, times three. The result will be two times three equals six, and three times three equals nine. So two over three or two thirds equals nine over six over nine. So to get the equivalent fraction to any fraction, we must. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. Exercise: Find the missing number. Letter A. Three over five equals what over fifteen? From denominator, we note that five. Become fifteen. So five times what equals fifteen? Yes, five times three. So we must time or multiply the numerator by three. So three times three equals nine. Letter B. One over three equals four. Over what? We know that one become four. So one times what equals four? Yes, one times four. So we must multiply the denominator by four. So three times four equals twelve. Let us see. What over seven equals eighteen over twelve? We know that the numerator, sorry, what over seven equals eighteen over twenty-one. We know that the numerator seven becomes twenty-one. So what times seven equals twenty-one? Yes, seven times three equals twenty-one. So we must multiply the numerator by three. What times three equals eighteen? Yes, six. We must keep the times table. Letter D. Two over what equals twelve over twenty-four? We know that numerator two becomes twelve. So two times what equals twelve? Yes, two times six. So we must. Multiply the numerator by six. What times six equals twenty-four? Or twenty-four divided by six equals what? Yes, four. So two over four equals twelve over twenty-four. Open your book, page number one hundred eighteen. Lesson ninety-three. Connect directions. Cross out the fraction model. That are not equivalent to half. Here, a circle divided into one, two, three, four, five, six. Divided into six equal parts. So to get half, we must shed three equal parts from six equal parts. But here. There is two equal parts shaded only, so it isn't. This fraction is how many? One, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six equal parts. How many shaded parts? Two. 
2 over 6. To, be, to get half, we must say 3 over 6, not 2 over 6. So it isn't equivalent to half. So we cross this circle. This circle divided it into 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 2 fourths. We know that 2 fourths equals half. In this circle, he divided it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And shade almost of the circle. Almost of the circle. Almost of the circle more than half. So it isn't equal to half. Okay. We can write the fraction of this. How many fractions we have? How many parts we have? We have 12 equal parts and shaded 10 equal parts. The last one, it's divided into 6 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And shade 3 equal parts from 6. So this fraction is 3 over 6. It is equal to half. In the books below, explain why the fractions you crossed out were not equivalent to half. And the first one, 2 over 6 is less than half because half equals 3 over 6, not 2 over 6. And this one, 10 over 12 is more than half. Why? Because almost of the circle shaded. Turn to the next page. Listen nicely up right. Here we want to find the equivalent fractions to fourth. The equivalent fraction to fourth. Okay. At the first, we divided one whole into half. Then each part at the first one, each part into two equal parts. One part is fourth. One part is fourth. If we divided the one whole again, each part into two equal parts. Each part into two equal parts. How many parts we have? How many equal parts we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each part is called eight. One over eight. So one over four equals how many eight? One. Two. So 1 over 4 equals 2 over 8. At the next bar, we can divide it into two halves, then divide each half into halves. Then divide each one into halves or two equal parts. Then divide each part into two equal parts. That is one fourth. After dividing one whole, how many parts we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, we have a denominator equals 16. Each part is 1 over 16. This is part 1 over 16. And this part is 1 over 16. And this part is 1 over 16. So, 1 over 4 equals 
one, two, three, four, four over sixty. We can get another equivalent fraction to two over two four. What if we time is the numerator and the numerator by three? We will get one times three equals three and three or four times three equals twelve. Here we time is numerator by two, the numerator by two, here by four, here by four. Use your fraction model to find two fraction two fractions that are equal to two thirds. Here we have two thirds. Divide the one whole into three equal parts. The next bar we will divide it into three equal parts. Then divide each part into two halves. Here we have six equal parts. Each part is called Six. Each part is called six. So, how many sixes are equal to two thirds? Yes, one, two, three, four. So, two over three equals four over six. Here, we can divide. One whole into six equal parts. Then divide each part into two equal parts. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve equal parts. Equal parts, twelve. Okay, how many parts equal two thirds? This all part equals two thirds. Each part is one over twelve. One over twelve. One over twelve. One over twelve. So how many equal or uh, equals two over three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. Solve this problem with your own as we solved the previous problem. Number three, use your fraction models to find three other sets of equivalent fractions. Record each fraction using the bar below. Draw each fraction, shade, and name like you did for problem one and two. Here, we will get equivalent fractions to two over five. So we must divide one whole into five equal parts and shade two equal parts. Divide the whole one into five equal parts as we can. Then shade two parts. So the fraction of the shaded parts is two over five. To find the equivalent fraction to two over five, divide the other whole into five over into five equal parts at the first. Okay. Here we have two over five. Then divide each part into two equal parts. Now we have ten equal parts. Each part is one over ten. Pin. So two over.
over 5 equals how many tenses? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 over 10. Solve this one and this one with your own. Challenge. Layla was making a quilt. The batter called for two over three of a meter of fabric. She wanted to use many different pieces that were each one over six meter long. How many six meter pieces of fabric would she need? So you're thinking in the box below, you can use your fraction, fraction models, draw bars, or any other examples or models that help you. Okay, Layla needs two thirds of meter. So we will divide one meter into three equal parts. Each part, each part is third. She wants two thirds of meter. She wants two thirds of meter. But she wants to use many different pieces, which each six meter long. So we will draw another one hole. And divide it into six equal parts. At the first, divide it into three equal parts. Then divide each part into two equal parts. Each part is six. One over six. So, how many sections she need here? This part is equal. Two thirds. So how many sections? One, two, three, four. So two over three equals four over six. So she wants four pieces of six meter long. She needs four pieces of Six meter long. 